everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to the January edition of Gina's B. Aaron's Design Team. So I am going to do a um, mixed media journal page. Um, the prompt is called Journal It and this page um, is going to be kind of cool. Um, well, I hope you think all of them are cool, but anyway, um, I'm doing this page with someone specific in mind um, who I said I would do this for. She asked me to do a page like this a long, uh, couple of months ago, and I'm just now getting an opportunity and a great prompt to do it by. So I'm going to get a few things together and get started. We'll be right back. I'm back. All right, off camera, I went ahead and stamped out two butterflies. And the butterflies, the butterfly is from Gina's um, stamp set number two. This butterfly here is from her stamp set number two. And I will link in the description below um, all the stamp sets that I used, as well as a link to her Etsy shop where you can get, um, where you can get her, uh, all of her different um, things that she has in her Etsy shop, different products. I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, the paintbrush, this is one of my favorites. This is from Stamp Set 11. And there will also be a discount code in the description. So anything that you purchase through her Etsy shop, uh, just use my discount code and you'll get a little discount. But anyway, I used the stamps see if I can get this to you without a glare to I did three little um, paint brushes together you see that I'm still working with the lights I rearranged things again imagine that but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my dark lines on here a little bit because my stays on ink is getting a little dry so I have to get some reinker for that so I'm just going to use a black Sharpie to um, fill these in a little bit. And I'm going to color these. So I won't bore you with watching me coloring them. I'm just going to use Sharpie markers um, just to show you that you don't always necessarily need to use um, acrylic paints. Um, use what you have on hand. If you have permanent markers, then grab them. You can get them very inexpensive at the dollar store, um, packages of them, and use those to color your things with. So I am going to color these, and then I think I'm going to split the wings up. I'm going to do something really kind of neat with them. So let me get that done, and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. These turned out adorable. What I did was I just colored them and I cut the fat little body part out and I glued my wings to the paint brushes and I trimmed the bottoms of the paint brushes up a little bit so that they would be shorter than the bottom of the wings. So these are going to be embellishments on my page. I just fussy cut everything out with a pair of scissors. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some UV resin, and again, I'll link all of this stuff below. Now, normally you should do this with gloves on your hand in a well-ventilated area. Um, the room is pretty well, well, it's a room, but I can't open the window here because right now it is negative 10 below outside. So. We're just going to put, I don't need a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit in here of the UV resin. I also want to grab my lighter, make sure I don't get any bubbles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this resin, and you also should probably wear protective gloves with this. Um, I am not going to because this is just going to be a real quick job. It's a little stinky, but not too bad. 
This is also self-leveling. And as I said, if you're going to do this, please do it in a well-ventilated area. And you should probably wear gloves. But I'm just trying to do this really fast, so I'm not going to put them on. It has a little bit of an odor to it, but not too bad. And then what I'm whoa. And then what I'm going to do is put this in under a UV light that I have. I need something sharp. Well, I guess my finger will do for now. But I just want to give this a hard look. I want it to be shiny. All right. Stick this under there and do this one real quick. You know, if I were doing gobs of this on here, you know, making it really, really thick, I would definitely have my gloves on. But I'm just kind of putting this on real um, lightly. A light coat. I'm not. Do, I'm not doming it. I'm not putting so much on that it domes. I just want it to be shiny, and I want it to dry quickly. Okay. And you go in there too. Okay, while my butterflies are curing underneath the um, UV light, what I'm going to do is I have taken one of Gina's stamps, and this is a scribble stamp, and it is also from her set 11. And normally what I would do, or what you can do when you're journaling, is you can scribble your thoughts down and then journal over it. And that's kind of what we're going to do. So I found some um, reinker for my black stays on, which I like to use because it is a permanent ink. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to even go right off the side. And honestly, this is more for demonstration purposes, so I'm really not caring if it's, you know, really le le legible or not. And I'm, I'm doing this onto a card here that's going to get glued into my journal. So I'm just going to go through, and I may do this one upside down. But the point I guess I'm, I'm trying to make is, you know, nobody has to understand the writing that you put down. Um, that's strictly um, for your eyes only. Um, it is very, very therapeutic. It is very healthy. Okay, so I have that down. I'm going to leave this out because I do have one more thing. But what I'm looking for is... Looking for one of my black Sharpies. 
that is, well, I can use a micron pen. Because this is also permanent. Is this permanent? It's archival. I want one of my black Sharpies. I want the thin one. Here it is. And I'm just going to write a few things down here myself that um, I might want to get out. All right, so that was kind of cool. Nobody has to understand what's written here but you. That's the whole point of journaling. So I'm going to put this back before I lose it, which I don't want to do. Oh, my paintbrush needs to go in there too. Okay, now the other stamp that I want to use is from Gina's um, stamp set number 15, Heart and Hand. This is one of my favorites. This is a fist. I love the fist. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to ink this up as well on my block a little bit better because all of this is nothing but negativity and that's what I want to get out so I'm going to punch it out I'm punching out the negativity BAM it's gone And this is just my way of saying goodbye. It's, as Gina would say, it's a negativity smackdown. So I've taken all, not all, but I've taken some negative thoughts and written, written them in here and stamped so that you could um, have that as an example. And then... I'm going to take some negative words. You see, where's there's one pen I wanted to use. Let me see. Yep, this is it. All right. And then from the hurt comes anger. Once you get past that hurt, and once you 
once you get past that, I truly, I truly believe that there is truth because the truth always comes out. I don't care how well you try and hide it, it will come out. And for this, the truth has already come out. They don't know it yet. Maybe they don't care, but it doesn't matter to me. And then I'm going to write on my fists. Karma. 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 So there's hurt and there's anger and it brings about truth. And this is karma, and it's just blasting away that negativity. I love it. Okay, I'm going to get something else, and I'll be right back. I'm going to put all this away. Okay, so I've got some just so out here on my palette, and I'm just going to just so over this. and put it into the background. And I'm putting it on rather generously. Because I'm going to do something with it. This is one of my favorite tricks to do. All right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and this is just a mark maker, and I'm just going to make some marks. Like that. And I might go this way. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. Now I'm going to dry this, and I'll be back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some different colors here. And the first thing I think I want to do, let's start out small. This is just um, a piece of mesh. I'm going to lay this down this way. I'm going to take some yellow. And I'm just going to put this down very randomly. I don't want it to be specific. Just kind of random. That's what I love about mixed media. There's no rules and everything is very random. And that's what makes it so that anybody could do this. That there's no rhyme or reason to it. That it's all random. All right. All right, let's put some more down here. And again, it's just very random. But we can still see that we've got some texture on there. I'm going to set this over to the side to dry. And this is shelf liner. 
So I'm going to take some really light blue. Boy, there's not much of that left. I'm going to put some of that down too. Again, very random. I don't know if you can quite see this. I hope you do. Like I said, these lights are not the best. Maybe if I bring you in a little bit closer, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Now I'm going to go just a little bit darker. Now would you ever know that there's journaling underneath there? There's words. Probably not. And the only one who knows anything is underneath there is you. All right, I love that. Set this off to the side to dry. And I'm going to dry this up real quick, and I'll be right back. I think we have one more layer to put on here. All right, so what I've got left, I've got some blue, some yellow. I've got this pearlescent um, pearlizing medium from Americana. And I'm just going to use that to mix it up with whatever's left on my palette and I'm just going to use that to put some lines down get the gook off there too mm -hmm. now I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but it's just some sparkly lines. Once again, just adding to the texture of the piece. And when it dries, it'll just add just that little bit of And this, as you can tell, is just a piece of corrugated cardboard. I'm not using anything fancy. As you can see, I use mainly just household items. I mean, you, you really don't even need to, you know, use any of the tools you know, that I use, you know, like this. You could just take a comb and do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to dry this up, set this over to the side, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got this all nice and dry and ready to go. Now, who would ever thought that there's something journaled underneath there? I certainly would not have. Let me bring it out just a tad. All right. And here's our butterflies that I had put under the, um, the lamp. 
I had been playing with these earlier in the day and had showed them to um, some of my uh, some friends of mine online and they were like, wow, they couldn't believe you could do that. So what I'm going to do is get my glue. And this is just um, Scotch permanent glue. I love this glue. And put this down right here. it down. You don't want to stay down? I'll make you stay down. And this one. And the thing I like is that the um, this is kind of flexible. The uh, the resin because I didn't put you know large quantities on there. I would suppose that if I put it on more liberally and domed it, that it probably would not be that flexible. Sorry, I don't mean to be out of frame. I wasn't paying attention. Again, I'm just gluing these down. Okay, I have lightly sketched out my title, and now I'm just going to go over it with a marker, permanent marker. Get a little bit thicker on the curves. Cover. Cover up.
cover up the this curves a little thick. Cover up the Cover up the CR. Sorry for sniffling. Can't seem to kick this sinus infection. There we go. Cover up the crap. Get rid of it. Take something ugly and make it beautiful. Just remember, you know the truth, and the truth eventually comes out. Cover up the crap. Write it out. Cover it up. Use your journal. Journal it. You could use. You could write and then cover it up with black paint. You don't have to do all of this to it, but this is fun. This is fun stuff that you get to do. And this is stuff that was just around the house. So this is my tutorial for Gina B. Aaron's design team for January 2019. I sure hope you learned something. I hope I brought something to you that will help you in some way, shape, or form. And we'll see you next month. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.